Thank you. My name is Alexis Bortel. Don't need to spell it or anything. Yeah. Okay. I'm here to testify, testify for Senate Bill 13. I'm a 13-year-old medical cannabis refugee, daughter of two U.S. veterans, and a plaintiff in a federal cannabis lawsuit, Washington versus Whitaker. I'm also the co-owner of One Love Organics and Patches of Hope, where we grow organic food on our farm for homeless and hungry people in Colorado. First, I want to thank you. A few years ago in Texas, I was losing a battle with epilepsy, but I was able to relocate to Colorado where I got access to cannabis, and today I am almost four years seizure-free thanks to cannabis. Please, um, we have certain customs and decorum here, so no clapping is allowed. Notice I didn't say CBD, and that's not a mistake. I use whole plant cannabis. So the question some of you may be asking yourself is, why is she here? People with epilepsy already have access to cannabis. In a way, that is part of my point. If you take away all the labels, product advertisement, trade shows, so-called experts, and tax policies and medical cannabis, then what's left? The answer is patients like me, our families, and our desire for relief, no matter what our condition is. Colorado law already states that cannabis can be recommended as a medicine by doctors. My point is that every patient should have equal access to every medicine our doctor thinks can improve our lives. I should never have better health care than other patients because a politician thinks I should or because my illness makes me part of some chosen group or class. You've done your part. You've given our doctors legal access to a powerful and safe agriculture-based medicine that almost anyone can safely grow or buy. The rest is and should be on us Colorado citizens. Again, I support this bill, but I am asking all of you a bigger question. Do cannabis patients like me have equal liberties and freedoms to you? If so, I'm asking you to help me abolish the qualifying conditions list so our doctors can finally do their jobs and we cannabis patients and our families can focus on our recovery. Thank you. Thank you for your testimony. Sir, would you like to introduce yourself and then we'll do questions? My name is, My name is Dean Bortel. I'm her father. I'm not testifying. She asked me to come up. I, if you have a question, I'd be happy to answer it, but I'm just here for her. Thank you for supporting your daughter today. Committee.